Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another Let's Go ASMR episode. And today I've got a bit of a fun one in store for you all in this one. This is a bit of a classic over on the main channel. Today we've got some Velveeta shells and cheese. Absolutely delicious. Now, obviously these are organic, gluten-free, cage-free, homegrown noodles. So, best of the best. I don't think any of that's true, but either way, we're going to be making some Velveeta shells and cheese today. Really can't go wrong, so let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, so we'll go ahead and get started by the sink today. We'll get our faucet running so we can fill our pot up like so. And you won't really need a pot too much larger than this one. This will be plenty to hold your entire box of mac and cheese, which is more than enough for one person, trust me. Um, but we'll fill that up to just over halfway here. And take it on over to the stove top. And we'll get that lid on there as well. Um, now, you don't have to have a lid, but I like to use it because it makes the process go a little bit quicker. That's our utensil of choice today. And we'll just wait till that gets up to boiling. So, now that the water's boiling, you can go ahead and remove that lid like so. Get your box of mac and cheese ready. And ever so gently open that up. Um, easier said than done, as you can tell. That's some good stuff. Alright, so you'll dump the entire box in there. And you can pretty much leave this at, I wouldn't go max temperature, but pretty close to it should be fine. The only thing you really need to worry about is um, sometimes if you're cooking it too hot, the water can boil over outside of the pot. So um, I have done that before and it's not a good time. So. As long as you stir often and keep an eye on it, you should be fine. But yeah, this is a very straightforward and probably the most basic recipe we'll do on the channel, but since it's such a classic on the main channel, I figured it would be fun to show you guys the behind the scenes and how I cook up the mac and cheese. Uh, just because it is easy doesn't mean it's not delicious. So we'll go ahead and stir this every couple minutes or so. I do make quite a bit of cuts here, but in total it's in the water for probably about 15 minutes or so. Just for, just for reference there. And we'll just keep an eye on it here, make sure it doesn't boil over or anything, but right now we've got it at a pretty good temperature, pretty high, and it's doing just fine, so not too much to worry about here. I 
I wish there were more like instructions or tips I could give, but really it is just occasional stirring and it, it pretty much cooks itself, so. We'll enjoy the nice, relaxing sounds together. This is also the first time I've used the Ninja Cookware on the channel. I haven't really put it to the test yet because, I mean, obviously it's just mac and cheese, but um, I mean, seem to do pretty well, but we'll have to expose it to some more recipes and different cooking styles to really get a feel for it and see, see how it holds up. stir it ever so gently. I like to just kind of take a peek at the shells and you can kind of tell how they're doing just based on the, the color of them as well as the, the firmness. Um, so you're going to want to, there's no like specific way to to cook pasta, it's really about your preference. So right here I'm grabbing one shell and I'm gonna test uh, just how firm it is. I like to just take a bite into it as it's cooking until it's like at the point where like the, the firmness that I like it at. So whatever is best for you, you're gonna wanna take it off when it gets to that point. Do a couple more stirs there, but these are, they're really just about done. Oh, got some shells stuck on there. So far, so good. All right, so now that your shells are good to go, we'll go ahead and take them on over to the sink and you will use a strainer. You can also use a handheld strainer, but um, got this one set up and it's really easy to use so we'll just go ahead and drain as much water out of there as we can and don't be afraid to really shake it around and get all that extra water out of there you definitely don't want your mac and cheese to be too runny Once you've got the water out and you're satisfied with it, we'll go ahead and pour it back into the pan. Perfect. Put it back on the stove top and we'll get that cheese sauce out. It's literally just a bag full of delicious cheese sauce. Like I said, there's really not much to this mac and cheese recipe at all, but it's still so good. It's so good. I love, I love the Velveeta shells and cheese. Get all that excess cheese in there. And now it's time to just stir it up. Now, at this point, I like to have the stove on very low. And 
and that's just to help the cheese melt up a little bit more while I'm stirring it. Uh, makes the mixing process a little bit smoother. And also it keeps your mac and cheese hot, so um, I would definitely recommend it for when you're making yours. Perfect. All right, now that you've got it all mixed up, you can go ahead and dump it on into your bowl. And you know what? Don't feel bad if you, uh, if you feel like eating the whole box. This is a judgment-free zone, and it's not your fault that there's so much mac and cheese in the box. Somebody's got to eat it, and if it's got to be me, I'll do it. I'll take one for the team. But we'll go ahead and get this whole thing scooped out into our bowl. Make sure you get all the extra shells in there, all the extra cheese. And look at that. That looks delicious. Alrighty guys, that is my top secret Velveeta shells and cheese recipe right there. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Just want to thank you all again for all of the support already. We are up over 800 subscribers, so thank you very much. Let me know down below what you guys would like to see me cook up next time. But check that out that is gonna be absolutely delicious i'm actually about to go eat this and record an episode for the main channel so i'll link it down below in case you guys want to check that out watch uh, the video of me eating this so anyway that'll do it for this one guys thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was relaxing and if you did like it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.